time to put the spotlight then on Viva Edinathan, the Managing Director and CEO at IDFC First Bank, speaking to ET now. Well, it gives me great pleasure now to bring the man on uh, man of the moment, Mr. V. Vednathan, Managing Director and CEO of IDFC First Bank, to talk about the IDFC First Bank and IDFC Limited merger. Now, it was officially announced in December 2021, the fine print and the merger ratio, everything is out, and the market will be reacting to uh, the, the swap ratio today. Mr. Vednathan, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, walk us through what were the factors and what was the consideration to arrive at the swap ratio? Uh, as you know, uh, you know, we have to follow all the uh, statutory uh, processes uh, for making this happen. So the basic consideration was that the extent of value of the holding uh, <coughs> that uh, IDUC limited shareholders held in the bank, uh, they were holding close to 264 crore shares. And the shareholding of IDFC Limited itself was about 160 crore shares. So effectively, every shareholder of IDFC Limited was holding effectively in a see-through way about 1.66 shares of the bank in any case. Uh, but then there was a holding company discount and all that. And then the, you, there's a fair process of valuing these things. So after fair processes, we came to 1.55. Okay. Uh is it fair to assume that uh, IDFC Limited shareholders, they should be given a, a holding company discount because it's only in India that the discount is very high. Globally, that's not the case. Well, you know, like I said, there are fair processes around uh, these matters. Um, you know, there's a value for the bank. There's a value for that entity. They, you know, there are market practices. There are precedences. You know, this, this is a fair process that you run through uh, independent valuers, through, uh, uh, through a fairness opinion uh, by bankers, etc. You go through the process. The whole thing is that you find a value here, you find a value here, and you uh, arrive at a value. We think the whole process worked out very professionally, uh, very smoothly, and we're quite happy with the outcome. That's really fair to actually all shareholders. So what changes now for uh, the shareholders of IDFC Bank? in the short term, medium term, and long term once the merger goes through? Well, that's a very long question, but let me just say that I want to think long. Um, in the short term, let me just say that, uh, um, you know, there is no overhang uh, of someone holding 40% and what they're going to do with it, and there was so much of market speculation. All that is gone. Let me say speculation is gone. We are going to simply issue shares of IDFC Bank to the shareholders of Limited. Against 1.66, we're going to issue 1.55. That's that's it. So that's clean. Now, so speculation over in the long, short run and clarity. In the long run, uh, if you think about it, uh, this becomes a perennial institution because there is no promoter. So think of like how ICIC Bank, uh, HDFC Bank, um, you know, JP Morgan, whatever. You think of our large institutions. They with a diversified public shareholding, they grow and grow and grow and grow forever. I must, you know, compliment you for the grit and the perseverance which you've demonstrated. It was not an easy merger. It has been a couple of, uh, you know, it, initially the first few quarters were tough, but in last four to five quarters, the banking business of IDFC <clears throat> First Bank has made a roaring comeback. So can I say that the bank and the franchise has just embarked on a multi-year growth journey? I 100% think so. I think uh, the really good thing about the bank, you know, now that corporate structure issues are all out of the way, the core of the bank will now begin to emerge even more to people. Uh, the short point is that bank has a really very good business model, very profitable, very high asset quality. Uh, corporate governance is really top class. So I, I feel that you will, everybody, you know, like once in your channel, I said your non-believers will become believers about four or five three, four quarters ago. Now you'll all watch and see what this game, uh, what this bank will turn out to be. I think it'll be really good. So what's next for Mr. V. Vednathan? You were with ICIC Bank as a professional. You started the NBFC business. Then there was a merger. Now there is a merger between IDFC First and IDFC Limited. What's next now for you? Well, it reminded me of a lot, actually. Yeah, there were like four or five deals that have happened in 10 years from that one, and then the merger with IDFC Bank, and now this merger. Uh, well, um, now onwards, let me just say it's like more like settling down because uh, I think uh, now we should look forward to a very stable build-up 
of the deposits of the loan book and let me just say uh, all the adventures of uh, of five years uh, of of these ten years are let me say behind us and now let me just say it's more a stable uh, performance and a stable you know lookout let me say over the next decade that is I'm looking one decade ahead and I really believe it's going to be something. So can I safely say that uh, IDFC Bank has now settled? And uh, like you said, that the high growth patch which you just referred to uh, is real. And there are tailwinds both from the economy and there are uh, levers which are internal, which will ensure that the next three years will be better than last three years. 100%. I have no doubt in my mind. You know, last three years were all complex things because we had to deal with all those, you know, uh, complex uh, asset issues first after merger, you know, the names, uh, you know, they're all well-known names. Then, uh, and there were like big amounts, like three, 4,000 crores of, uh, you know, bad loans we dealt with, Vodafone, Reliance, all that, uh, Capital and uh, Divan and all. Then from there, we solved the issues, asset issues went away. Then we solved the liability issue, a CASA ratio became, you know, from moved from maybe 10% to 40%. So the liabilities got sorted. Uh, then profitability got issues sorted. Now we are very profitable. We posted PAT of 2,400 crores last year. And you know the trajectory. Um, let me just say that all the items are behind us. Now even the corporate streamlining, streamlining is behind. Um, I really think that the next three years, um, uh, yeah, you should, you should expect from us to deliver uh, much, much better results. I'll take a leap from your answer that the corporate structure of the bank now is completely streamlined. So in the overall scheme of things, what changes because of that? Diversified shareholding, uh, because there is no promoter after once the deal goes through. So once there is no uh, promoter, then, you know, uh, uh, whenever you need capital raised from the market, and hopefully very soon our own internal generation of capital will be very strong. Uh, it's already touched at 12% from the last quarter's numbers. So Basically, um, uh, diversified uh, shareholding, uh, large uh, 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 institutional investors, probably even getting to the MSCI index. I read a report this morning. So uh, these are really, uh, and that will be a fr fr frankly a very big moment. So we are looking forward to uh, this is a building a great bank. So can I say that IDFC Bank now, now that size and the merger will increase its book value is on its path to really become from a mid-tier bank to a large cap bank i mean that i think is clear looking at the way how this merger will give you re reach scale and will shore up your book value yes as part of the process the uh, book value per share for idfc bank shareholders will go up by five percent you know i told you we'll issue less number of shares than what we we'll cancel um, uh, uh, so uh, therefore, you know, we're going to issue 16 crore less shares. So, and also there is 600 crores of cash coming from uh, approximately, give or take, uh, of uh, in ID in IDC Limited. So, short point is book value per share goes up, uh, and uh, that um, uh, that that of course is a, a is an immediate uh, upshot, let me say. Hmm. But Finally, of course, in uh, the longer run, uh, the the you know the, these things will be forgotten. What, what we're going to build will remain. <clears throat> and personally for you, if I may take the liberty of asking, are you feeling settled about this marriage or are you still looking out for new <laughs> adventures? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there have been many adventures over the last many years trying to find uh, a, a stable landing place, let me say. And uh, I think we found a stable uh, landing spot and, uh, you know, we just look forward to a happy marriage from here on, yeah. Well, I haven't had a chance, Mr. Vednathan, to meet you for a long format interview. But uh, now that this merger and the swap ratio has gone through, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, you can accommodate our re request for a long interview where we can do chai and coffee ke upar gap shop. It could be chai for me and I'm sure it'll be coffee for you. Thank you. Look forward. <laughs> Appreciate your time, sir. Thank you very much.
All right, there you have it. Those are the key takeaways coming in from that interaction 